Good morning. I brought my orange to the park for breakfast this morning. I'm trying to get up earlier. Sorry, I look like this, but um, I realized I had brought um, a bunch of devos to the park yesterday to read, and I w didn't read from this one, so I wanted to read one for the men today. Um, and I've been thinking about surrender. I wanted to talk about surrender, and so how this devo goes is it has like it goes alphabetically, assurance, right? Encouragement, inspiration, and I was assuming there would be one. Why does I have it posted in here? Respect. I was assuming there would be one restoration for surrender. How could there not be one for surrender, right? But there isn't one. It goes support, sustenance, trust. There's not one for surrender, unfortunately. But so I'll just wing it. Um. So then as I was thinking about men on my way to the park this morning, this guy's running up the street. Um, he's coming up the hill, right? And he's like out for his morning jog or whatever. And it's, I mean, I've been up that hill. It's a hard hill to get up. And he's like out of breath. And he, you know, he's like walking up the hill and he's tired, right? And then he, and he, we see each other. So then he waves, right? I give him the wave back. And then we're, we're coming, like I'm coming down this street, walking to the park, he's coming up this hill. And then I'm not really sure which direction he's gonna go when he gets up the hill, but we had already given our wave. So I was trying not to just like keep looking at him, give him his privacy as he's huffing and puffing up the hill. And then, so he ends up turning my way and then he starts running, right? Of course, he has to run as he passes me. Um, gives me another wave or whatever and then um, now he's running and I'm like this guy now he's in full on man mode right that's how they are and then um, and then he makes it halfway down the block and he starts walking again which is adorable but um, you know kudos to him for getting out and running early in the morning I can't remember the last time <laughs> <laughs> that I ran so I mean I'm just at the stage of like can I wake up he's out running so I'm okay that he had to walk up the hill like I'm no judgment I'm just saying that's what happened moving forward um, <laughs> um what was I gonna say surrender okay so I was thinking about how I believe in my mind it's easier I think for women to like surrender to God right Jesus than it is for men I think because I think women are just used to they understand about submission they understand about surrender just in the dynamic of like living life right they get it they understand it in a more intimate way of like being submissive you know versus I think men it doesn't come as naturally to them it really doesn't so I think it probably takes a little more to get a man to fully like surrender their life to Christ like they might believe enough they maybe have even been baptized and stuff but they're they sometimes they sorry my video cut off sometimes they're not reaching the point of surrender and and I think maybe they don't understand it as easily as you would think that they would so I just want to talk about that so um hold on let me eat this orange real quick all right I ate my orange um so like men will take advice from other men right they might know somebody who's good at finances and they'll they'll listen they'll take that advice from that man who has more money than they do or um <clears throat> say they're gonna try to 
get healthy or exercise or eat right or something they're gonna look around for who they think has done a good job with that and they're gonna take that advice about how to eat or how to work out from someone who they trust right um, so it's the same with God if you're if you when you get to the place of like okay I realize that I am not God and I just don't know everything about everything and I have struggled in these various situations in my life and I need to go to somebody who I can trust and the human beings in my life haven't that I know have not helped me solve these problems right when you are then open to trusting Jesus and having some faith in Jesus and believing that you know Jesus they you know is the Savior and can help and wants to help and just allowing yourself to be like open to you know seeking out that advice and and then taking that wisdom and learning from it and 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 acting on it just like you would from a friend right so it's like releasing you know letting go of whatever the stresses or the things are the situations or the relationships or the worries right the bad feelings i think men struggle with their emotions more right so is it like loneliness or you know whatever our bodies get old and don't work the same and we're just sad you know we're just struggling we just want some we just want love right um and being open to just releasing so releasing that need to control it and fix it and do something about it to god and then allowing god to fix it for you um and trusting that he will um right and then right and if you feel like you don't have a relationship with god or jesus to just strongly recommend even if you've been baptized before to get get adult baptized right be baptized of water baptized of spirit and then once that spirit is inside you like god starts to clean house right um god will literally take the insides of you right and start like a fire start like light the spark and start kindling the fire and and start burning away all the impurities like refining gold right like like purifying the metal like just getting out all the um the various things that you struggle with and that you suffer with and all the impurities inside you starts start to get burned up and just purified right and people are might looking in from the outside they'd be like i see no change well that's because everything's happening on the inside right you can feel it on the inside you feel it you know it other people might not know it it doesn't matter what they think right don't worry about them there's always going to be the people who think they know um and then as that like the temple right as the as your insides get cleaned out right then it starts to move outside right and maybe people can see something we'll see a little glimmer of something on the outside right and it starts to affect like your house and your children or your parents family members friends right your yard your home maintenance whatever and it starts to just ooze out and shine right the light just shines out and it starts to just affect other things 
Um, and so then when you're following Jesus, when you're in that place of surrender, of releasing and letting go of the things and, and, and like listening in and following uh, where you're being prompted to go and do and, and things like that, um, then God is going to always lead you on the right path for you might not be the right path for somebody else, right? Other people might still be judging your path, but it's not their path. You're on your path and you're following God. Um, God might literally say, turn around. Don't go there today. You know, the little, and sometimes it's like very like direct. Um, but it's always like, you can tell there's always like a peace and it's always something, um, helpful or good right versus when you're not following Jesus or when you're acting out of your own human fleshy desires or human fleshy worries or like when the enemy is planting seeds in your mind and leading you astray then you're going to end up on a whole different road and so you can tell when that's happening by if you're making your decisions based off of like I'm afraid therefore I'm going to do whatever to try to not have fear that's not God leading you down that path right if you're like I'm I don't know what words I can say on here I'm feeling whatever way so therefore I want to go do whatever thing because it's going to feel good. That's not God leading you down that path necessarily, right? Sometimes it will lead to a lot of heartache um, or I'm lonely and, and nobody loves me. Nobody wants to be with me. Can't find anyone to never leave me. I just want to latch on to the literally the next human being that I see that moves that'll take me and imagine in my own mind that that's going to last for a lifetime that's not going to happen good, good things don't happen if it's not of God it's going to cause more heartache more pain more trauma more trouble more stress which is the disadvantage of not following Jesus um And it's really easy to identify when that's happening for yourself or for other people because you can see what's what's the motivation, what's the driver behind these decisions. Um, when when God is behind it, there is always peace there is always um like a, a protection or a safety or just a healing it's just there's usually good behind it um so i i strongly recommend the men even though they don't have a section for surrender in this book they should um consciously think about like am I surrendered to the Lord um, and and again especially if you're the kind of man who um, is a natural leader or um, you know a, str a natural strong warrior that kind of stuff like in the human world you're still not God and it would be wise of you to to surrender and to submit and to just bow down and have a moment of pause right and of allowing yourself to hand over whatever you're struggling with 
and asking God to take the lead on that. Because when you're empowered, right, with Christ within, um, you are going to be a better leader and a stronger man. And, you know, you're, you're going to not harm the people around you when you struggle. You're going to truly help people and be able to lead people and be the, a better kind of warrior. Because um, you're going to identify more with more wisdom how to move through your life um, than when you're doing it all on your own. So that's all I was going to say. Of, I have a lot to say about surrender today. I don't know if I'm making any sense or not. But people are actually showing up at the park now. I, I had the park all to myself for a minute. But anyway, um, so that is all. I hope you have an awesome day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.